Okay, we're here uncrating a Steinway M ebony finish, serial number 616710. 815 pounds. I already took the straps off. Let's see. Cut the cardboard. This is the lid, so heavy side is the lid side. I got that wrong. Let's see if I can move this back by myself. rearrange the the camera again if that's the case we need to move the camera over here somewhere see if we can find a new spot for it Let's see if that'll work maybe I can move this piano that's my tripod there we go all right let's try this again procedure. Well, they got their own procedure. Says to use three people. I'm gonna show you how to do it with one. Hey, this piano's been, uh, been crated. Over a year, customers wanted it in the box, uncrated in their house in the box. We said, no, we've got to set them up. We've got to prep them in-house. Um, tuned, regulated, voiced, all that needs to be done here before it goes out. And then within the home, there'll be several trips by the technician. Once it acclimates to the humidity and temperature of the new location, looking for my 10 slips, snips. See if we can. And I'm not sure I have my wrench. Oh, Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. 
uh, the right wrench, so take these off. <clears throat> Several bolts. If I had a socket and ratchet, it would be easier. But I don't have my toolbox today. I'm glad at least I have a wrench that fits it. I happen to have it in my desk drawer. So, a little slow process, but you get it. I can get the phone and grab the cordless. These two by sixes uh, are actually screwed to the frame of the piano um, to hold it in place in the crate itself. Without this, it would just move around, get damaged. This keeps it fastened to the say skidboard, but it's more a pallet size of a piano.
six screws into each two, two by six. And these are actually nailed to the pallet jack. I mean, not pallet jack, pallet. six out. Now, I have to cut this cardboard where the legs and wire were attached to. Gotta be real careful doing this so don't get into the piano. It's pretty close to the lid right there. I'll cut it. It's coming right out. Then, this I usually cut Pull away from the piano. Usually, just, just, just rip pretty easy. Somebody. get thrown out. Don't get reused. Now we're ready for the legs. Put the 10 snips and the 13 millimeter wrench over here. Wouldn't hurt to move the phone since we're about to roll the 800 pound piano over on the side. Let's open up the waves and wire. This is a brand new Steinway Kim, five foot seven. Made in New York. Long Island, New York. Here's the pedals. Nicely wrapped. From the showroom, or from the factory, I should say. The, um, we call them drumsticks, but the, the supports for the lyre, uh, the pedal assembly. In the older days, Steinway numbered these. There would be one for the left side, one for the right side. You couldn't get them mixed up, they wouldn't fit right. But they've changed that over the years. Now they're just, you can use them for either side of the lyre. Like this little black bag it came in. Keeps it from getting scratched. But um, it's called the wire assembly. It's that okay? Sometimes I'll look and see if they'll put a wrench in here. A lot of times they'll send a wrench. It's not. I shouldn't say a wrench. I should say a um, Allen. Not Allen wrench. Um. X wrench system. I believe that's what they use to put these on with. I have some here in case they didn't send one. But here it is. They usually send one. I thought they did. So we've got all the tools we need straight from the factory. Let's go ahead and put this pedal assembly on now. This sometimes I will cut. So be careful the lid doesn't open up when that happens. I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Some of these do hold the lid and the key cover. They've got another one here. Well, that lid's been unhooked now. Yes, it'll open. This is their pack. Care package from Steinway & Sons. It has a rag probably in it, a dust cloth. And it's really nice. I want to be able to send that with the piano. The lid's not going to open up because i got this cardboard right here. So we're good. Go ahead and attach this. I use my legs. Hold it in place. Perfect. 
there's several sizes of Steinway. It starts with S, M, is it O, A, B, and D? I believe I have that right. Um, they've, disconnect, they've discontinued the S, the five foot one. Um, they discontinued it, probably for, because they're about a year and a half behind in production. So um, they got more orders from dealers this year than they're gonna be able to produce in 2023, trying to find my wrench. Um, what did I do with that? It's in my pocket. So production's a problem with COVID, shutting everything down. Because you know, it takes almost a year to make a Steinway from start to finish. 10 or 11 months. Handmade instrument. All right, got those tight. Let's move on to the legs. Also marks their what numbers their legs. One, two, and three. But on this particular model, they're all the same size. So there's no numbers. Any leg will go on any. On any three locations. Hmm, interesting. Screw this, this little pin that locks the wheel in place. Always goes on the inside. Got that one good and tight, locked in place. One of those moisture bags, moisture out of it. Go ahead and put the next leg on. We'll unscrew these bolts here. You can see that, that pin all the way out. Then it locks back down on the cleat that goes on. These pianos have to be set up in the shop and serviced, tuned, 
some, some slight regulations, some voicing. Steinway is doing a lot better job prepping the pianos now in the factory before they're crated. Before, you know, we had to put about $2,500 worth of technician labor into voicing the regulation and getting them sweet, but now the factory's doing a lot of it. Pretty much showroom ready, but still there's some slight things that need regulation and since it's been sitting on its side in the box. Tuned regularly for a little while, but it's something that getting it stabilized and tuned up. Got that one good and tight. You always look to make sure the leg's not crooked and it lines up evenly across the top and the back of the piano. All right, let me get a blanket to uh, roll this with. Let's move the bench. All Steinway benches are made in the Janssen Bench Factory. You know, USA made. Uh, they're artist benches that adjust. You can buy them straight from Janssen. Steinway has them put their logos on the knobs. But uh, it's about a $2,500 bench, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. Comes free with the piano, of course. Get my coat off here. Look it up. Heat. All right, we're gonna roll the piano now. What I'm gonna do, go get another pad and put it right under this corner, just in case what they have it supported on fails. for now until I can get it set up. Alright, so we've got it up on its feet. Still have one more leg to add. Good, just checking out that side. Let's put this last leg on. I'm always a little shaky. <laughs> you know, such an expensive piano. I forget exactly what this cost, but it's close to a hundred thousand. Probably like 
70 or 80. Um, just not sure exactly what the price is anymore. They go up about 6% every year. Um, but the Rolls Royce of all pianos. Handmade Long Island, New York. There's a factory in Germany. But all America's buy from New York. Cruise bolt till it stops. right into a, a groove on that cleat locks that leg right into place I usually use my back to lift up on the piano with pull this pad out from under the pedals and now we're on on its feet that's how you set up a uh, signing with him one person it's beautiful better be it's brand new I'll probably let's leave this music rack um, wrapped because it's going out here in a few days. There's no reason to unwrap it. But this is it, brand new Steinway Model M. I'll show you how to uh, untie the action. Hmm. If I had a screwdriver, I'm not sure I had one. Let me see if I can find one. So, uh, that's cool. All right, luckily Karen, secretary, had one in her desk. She showed me the other day. I'm gonna leave this with the box so they have the right tool to deliver it with. I'll probably go out on the delivery just because for any piano, you gotta take these screws out of the bottom here, unlock the cheek blocks. These are the cheek blocks, little blocks of wood. In between the keys, these lock that in place, locks the front rail in place, and keeps the action in the proper location. This rail may slide up. Yeah, it slides up without. All Steinway front rails just slide right off. But this holds the action in place in the right place and keeps the action locked in the place. Let's take this out. Um, Klug, owned by Steinway, so looks like someone's making their key beds. Maybe not in the factory, and that's something that looks like anyway. Try to get this bolt out, I'll show why it's not coming. There it comes. Okay, so I'm gonna set this over here because it's very easy to scratch this kind of stuff. Careful with it. Um, these cheek blocks squeeze on the side 
the, of the front rail, they easily come off. So I just very carefully, I usually have to take them off so I can set this down. And I pull the action. These are tied down to rubber bands. Let me get my trusty razor blade knife that I've had all day. Let's go ahead and cut that. Make sure, ooh, make sure not to leave the rubber band in the piano, not to touch the finish with your knife. All right, that could be thrown away. Close up that so no accidents occur. Now your action is unlocked. Put it back in. Cheat box back on. They fit right on a pin here. There it goes. They can fall off, so be careful. screws back in. Get that cheap block lock in place. Now you can put the front rail back on. You always have the serial number right here. That's right down here, but it's always there somewhere. It slides right in place. And that's it today. Thanks for watching.